Hey guys, welcome to episode number 290. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And it's nighttime in the fish room. Most of the lights are turned off. And uh, I'm about to call it a day. But I wanted to share with you guys an exciting announcement. Um, I will be building a photo bioreactor. Uh, you know I have the Daphnia. And uh, the best food for Daphnia is actually a live algae culture. And the best way to culture live algae is with a photo bioreactor. So I've already ordered the algae. I have four different species of freshwater algae coming in the mail uh, from Carolina Biologic. And uh, the next project I have here down in the basement that I need to build within the next day or two is a photo bioreactor. And uh, basically that's a system to grow algae. So very simple. Um, you know, it could be as complex as you want, but uh, what I'm going to start with is, is very simple and very affordable. I'm going to take a shop light that I already have and set that up as a light source. I'm going to build a shelf either out of a 2x4 or 2x6 or 2x8 and attach that to the wall. And then I have uh, a series of 2 liter bottles, clear bottles, that I'm going to use as my uh, algae chambers. and. Uh, I'm going to be using the screw top lid from those two liter bottles um, to cover the top of that uh, bottle itself and uh, what I'm going to do is take an airline from my uh, air system and put that through a, a valve uh, to regulate the amount of bubbles and uh, then I'm going to pass that through the cap itself using rigid airline and put that down towards the bottom of the bottle not touching the bottom and uh, I'm going to try to get about pea sized bubbles uh, to come out of that and then the air obviously has to escape but we don't want the, the top completely open because then we'll get a lot of spitting and uh, sputtering and water getting all over the place so what we're going to do is take another piece of rigid airline and allow the air to escape um, through that as well and uh, a close up of that is actually over here I'm looking to get some very small uniseals as well um, so that I can install the uniseals in the cap of the uh, the bottle cap and then just push those uh, rigid airlines straight through so I will be looking into that uh, this is what it's going to look like I'm going to start with four bottles one for each species of algae and from there I might get two bottles uh, two uh, sorry um, two bottles for each species so eight bottles total and after that, if I need to expand further, I might move on to uh, five gallon uh, carboys or uh, or something something similar to that um, and and expand up as I need to. But it's really the only reliable way to uh, to get a, a good live algae culture going. And uh, it's something that's very simple, very easy to do, very low cost. And uh, I'm actually looking to probably set it up on this wall somewhere. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to lay this stuff out. I might need to move a few things to make this work. But uh, here's kind of an example of what a shelf might look like. And uh, I've got some bottles there. So if I place something like that um, up here, I can put the light up above it here and uh, place the shelf there. Maybe move this over here. And uh, you know, then I've got I've got space there. I want to I want to build a shelf that's big enough for at least eight bottles, because I feel like I'll want uh, backups of each of my algae cultures. So uh, eight bottles minimum. And uh, I'm going to place the lights probably just a, a couple inches over the tops of those bottles so that it gets as much light as possible. And uh, with those caps on, I won't be getting uh, any water spraying on the, the light bulbs themselves. I'll probably be using this fixture here for right now uh, and then I might retrofit this light uh, using the LED strippies and make a, an LED um, shop light at some point to put over this but I'm thinking this is a good place for it uh, just because I have my water system here and uh, my wastewater specifically here in case I need to dump a batch out or start a new batch uh, I can always grab from uh, the water supply that's already here. But anyways guys, if you have any ideas on uh, where I should set this up or uh, 
or what I should do uh, in order to make this project a success, let me know. I've got a very short time span in which to set this up uh, because the algae is on its way already. But I'm really looking forward to it. When I have a live algae culture going, and I have my live Daphnia culture going, feeding that to my fish, I've really got the complete food chain going down here uh, in the basement. And uh, if I can continue to supply live food to all of my fish reliably, um, that's pretty much going to be the goal. Uh, super cheap, super easy to do, and uh, really healthy and you know a natural food source uh, for the fish. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. Again, if you've got any ideas, let me know. And I'll see you guys later.